What's up guys, Jerry Campisi. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the custom X Diablo series. Today, we're heading down to Santa Barbara Ducati to get the carbon fiber wheels installed on this beautiful X Diablo. Uh, if you're not familiar with the series, we're customizing this bike with the support of our patrons and then we're giving it away to somebody who helped make this series possible. Uh, we also have a second grand prize, what is this? Uh, where we actually give away a motorcycle of your choice. So if you're interested in all the details, check out the Patreon page. It's always the first link in the description below. I am going to sit in traffic and I will meet you guys down at the Ducati shop. Teams is following me with the wheels. I'm really excited to see how much weight these save because there's actually not any information on them because they're so freaking new. So stay tuned. All right, we have arrived. Christina has brought all the goodies and uh, we're going to let her do the honors here. So actually going to be replacing the rear brake rotor. Um, Manny sent this over from Moto Million. It's uh, supposed to be better than the stock one. I actually don't know anything about it, so I'm sure we'll find out. I'm sure Trevor will know something about it. But this is the this is what we've been waiting for. For three months I've been waiting for these wheels. The yeah, just throw the back wheel, yeah. That's the most important one. Yeah, I'm hoping that these save at least 10 pounds, but maybe more. So yeah, I waited for three months for these guys. And let's uh, Let's have a look. There they are, guys. It's in a satin finish. They're deep dish, and they just came out this year for the uh, X Diablo. It looks very nice in person. It's amazing, right? Very nice. And they're so light. How heavy is that? Uh, <laughs> Give me an exact poundage. Five pounds? No, like eight. Eight-ish? What do you think, Johnny? Pounds. I'm really bad at guessing these things. <laughs> Seven-ish. Seven okay. Yeah. The phone weighs more what do you think these? Are? What do you think these are? Oh, those are a lot heavier. Yeah, like 15, 20. Probably 15 Good. That's what I like to hear. Oh, well, we brought the scale. To yes, I, I brought my digital scale. Um, so we're gonna weigh these bad boys. But um, I got these from Manny at Moto Million. If you guys are interested, look at that. I tried to get the finish to match as much as possible uh, with the satin carbon that's gonna be on the bike. So um, yeah. yeah, let me feel it. And of course, we went with the ceramic bearings for less drag. Um, so basically, as high quality as you can get. And as far as I know, guys, I think these will be the first ones going on an X Diablo in the entire world. So don't quote me on that, but as far as I've seen or heard of, this should be the, one of the first ones. So I'm really, really excited. I'm excited to see how much weight you see. I know. We're gonna get these uh, stock wheels off. We'll weigh everything, and then we'll find out uh, where we're at. So stay tuned. Here we go. Removing the nut, and of course I left the Duca bike one at home, so I had to make Christina go run for it. Thank you, babe. That's crazy how quick that thing comes off. Damn. Look at all the wheel weights on that. Holy crap. <laughs> all right, we're weighing the back wheel. It was at zero. We just set it on there. Trevor's just gonna hold it. Holy shit, that's heavy. 38 pounds. Wow, so what we'll do is we'll weigh it once we put the carbon wheel on the tire We'll weigh it again, but I also want to weigh that carbon wheel just by itself 38 pounds and you can see it's zero when he takes it off All right, first thing he's doing is just letting the air out of this big old fat tire And then he's gonna throw it up on his tire machine. There we go. That works. And then he's gonna pull it off You use by hand because he's old school, baby <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even get used. <laughs> uh, everyone else can do it. Uh, Trevor's old school. This is a carbon wheel. I don't, don't want to fuck with that. Yeah. I only press the electronic one. Exactly. Just like that. Some people go to the gym, I change tires. <laughs> yeah, some people by work hand. out, he does tire changes by hand. Look at that. Craziness. Next thing we're doing is adding a bunch of lube. Then we're gonna peel this puppy off. There it goes. There's one side. That's crazy. It won't even focus on it. Guys, check out this bit Johnny was just showing me. Look at that. He said that's the drill bit that you use to clean out carbs. Is that what it is? Yeah, carb jets. That is so insane. That is wild, never seen one of those before. And just like that over here, we got the wheel off. I wanna weigh that by itself. I wanna see what that weighs. All right, let's see. Set her on there. Wow. 20, 24-ish, 25. We'll call it 
for, we'll call it 24. So let's throw the, the carbon wheel on there. All right, carbon wheel going on. And what was that one, 24? The other one? Look at that, holy shit. <gasps> no, it was 24, this weighs eight pounds. What's the difference in that? 16 pounds just with the back tire. Two horsepower. <laughs> That's two horsepower right there. That's insane. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So yeah, Trevor was saying he does this by hand because he's seen people completely ruin carbon wheels with the machine because it doesn't know how much tension to use. Whereas here he can set it with his own manpower. His, his, uh, his half a centennial worth of knowledge of changing tires. <laughs> All right, so just like that, they got the wheels on perfectly. Gonna add some air to it. Look how good that looks, guys. I absolutely love it. It's, oh my God. All right, so since we got these new, well, this single new uh, rear brake rotor, in order to get that off, it would be too simple if it came off. Well, actually it does come off this side, but Trevor mentioned, if you see where the bolts are, you actually have to pull this entire drivetrain off, sprocket and everything in order to get to those bolts. So that's what we're gonna do next. And then you gotta take the, all the rotor bolts out and take the whole rotor off, right? We take the whole rotor and the spindle comes off. Gotcha. Craziness, dude. That's actually quite a bit of work to get that off, huh? Good. Yeah. I got it. Jeez Louise. This scares the shit out of me. So, all this stuff apart. Trevor loves it. <laughs> Look at him. He loves it. So Trevor's heating up these uh, bolts here because they're yeah they're Loctite and they're really thin like there's not a lot of you can't press them down in there very far so they're very easy to strip. So what he does is heats them up so it'll break that Loctite in there and then we won't strip them all. Freaking cool. Look at that. Tricks of the trade brought to you by Uncle Trev. And then last thing we need to do is transfer the speed sensor over so we got to remove it from the stock caliper and actually we're gonna weigh these two to see if. They're all right, stock rotor, three pounds on the dot. Now let's pull that off, throw the rear one on from braking, which Trevor said is a very good company. Let's see what we got. Two pounds. Save one pound, I'll take it. Rotating mass, that's solid, right? Yeah. Cool. So Trevor was just saying he's gonna put the rotor on first. He's using red Loctite because of uh, the heat next to the tires and the rotors and then uh, he's gonna put this on afterwards because this is the speed sensor among other things and if you screw up any of this or you hit it or nick it or anything it can cause major major issues with your bike so uh, be very careful with this guy <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now all right so we got the uh, rear rotor back on and now he's just repeating the process tightening the, the side back down and then we can throw the wheel on we're waiting for teens to grab the Duca bike uh, rear axle nut so um, Hopefully she'll get here shortly. All right, teens just arrived with our new axle nut from Duca Bike. That's right, gonna go so on the left. I knew I was forgetting oh. something. Yeah. Look, we got Trevor pumping the lift now. He's doing my job. He's doing... He took my job. That's your job, teens. Yeah. Get over there. You gotta show off that. Go. You gotta show off that booty. I gotta go find work. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the secret, guys. I mean, look at his booty. To all the ladies who want those big juicy oh, booties. Man. So Trevor got the rear wheel mounted and balanced. And I gotta say, guys, it for any, took any weight. really nice. Oh, Look at that wheel, teens. What do you think? It's really good. I need a little bit more enthusiasm out of you. It looks beautiful. Do you want to sit on top of it? I do. <laughs> <laughs> She'll be here all week, ladies and gentlemen. Awesome. I love it. I think it looks incredible. I'm really impressed. And when you say 15 pounds with a single wheel. That's money well spent, ladies and gentlemen. All right, up next, gonna remove what, the calipers, the, the rotors? Off, take the calipers off, tire off, put the transfer this to the carbon wheel. Can't wait to see how much it saves. Teens is leaving us, guys. She lasted 30 seconds. <laughs> it's too cold and I need a drink. She's going to get drinks at the fish house. All right, I'll miss you. We'll miss you. All right, so we got the front wheel stock with the uh, rotors on it. So we're gonna weigh this and see what it is. 34 pounds, holy shysters. Okay, yeah, you were pretty close. <laughs> so that's uh, with everything on it, and then we'll do the same thing with the carbon wheel as well. Just repeating the process on the front tire. 
pulling her up right there, all nice and lubed, slides right off. Just how we like it. <laughs> all right, so now we've got the wheel on, stock wheel with nothing on it. So we'll, we'll weigh this against the, the carbon wheel. So we're looking at 16, we'll call it, 16 pounds. Let's get the carbon one on there and see. All right, moment of truth. Let's see what we're at here. BST Rapitec carbon wheel. Oh my gosh. Seven pounds. So it's nine pound difference. Right. Wow. That's crazy. And what were we? We were 15 pounds in the back. No. Nine in the front. It was 16 in the front. In the rear. In the rear. Yeah. Six. No, it was 15. 17. You have to watch your own show to see I know. What you said. I know. <laughs> so we finally did our math here. 24 pounds we saved, guys, from the two carbon wheels plus the uh, one pound from the brake, the braking uh, brake rotor. That's. That's insane. That's way more than I thought it was gonna be. 24 pounds of weight saving, guys. Not to mention the gyroscopic forces as well. That's just, I'm so freaking happy right now. And oh, I can't wait to see this thing on too and then see how it rides. All right, transferring over the rotors to the uh, BST carbon wheels. Uh, Trevor's using the blue Loctite, which he said is good for any area of the bike that vibrates. Anti-vibration. Anti-vibration. And that's what we're doing right now. So. Here is the wheel with everything on it versus the stock weight, which was 34 pounds, and this one is 20. Well, no, yeah, 20 pounds. Look at that. 18, 19. We'll call it 20. Freaking insane. All right. Let's see how it feels here with the new wheels. Unfortunately, I just ran out of daylight here, but I can tell you guys, oh my god. It feels like a completely different bike. Like it's actually borderline insane. Uh, of all the bikes that we've done, we've done carbon wheels on all of them. Most of them say like five to seven pounds because they already had lightweight wheels. They were sport bikes, you know? But saving 30 pounds on a set of wheels is like, that's mind blowing. And you can absolutely tell that it's, it's absolutely insane and actually even the shock feels better too because there's that un less unsprung weight man it's it's crazy braking is better handling's better acceleration is better it's just wheels are one of the biggest things you can do to really improve your bike i'm gonna meet christina over at the beach here and see if we have just enough light left all right met up with christina down at the beach oh my god that booty looks out of control in those jeans what is going on? Um, I wanted to show her the uh, the carbon wheels. So official weight savings, guys. 16 in the rear and 14 in the front for a total of 30, 30 pounds. pounds. Yes. Oh my god. Isn't that ridiculous? We were so off on the front. I know. We only saved like seven pounds, eight pounds. I know, and they look just absolutely gorgeous. It's really starting to tie in the carbon. That's crazy. Yeah. How does it feel riding it? It's insane. It, yes, there's no, difference? yeah, there's no weight. There's no rotating mass. So it just dump, dumps back inside, back and forth so easily. Crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's insane. All right, guys, so that's going to do it. We're trying to beat this rain that's coming here today. Um, but for initial impressions, they're freaking insane. It's, I'm so freaking happy with these. So again, if you want to snag a set for yourself, uh, hit up Manny at Motor Million. You can use code CAMPEES to save yourself some money. If you want to be entered to win this bike, uh, check out the Patreon page. It's patreon.com slash campeasy customs. If you enjoy what we're doing here on the series, uh, hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you give the video a thumbs up. And I think that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you in the next one.